Hey everybody, this is Smitty's Kettle Corn here, uh, starting up to 2023. Hoping you guys have a good year this year. Here yeah, I'm going to show you how I start my, my caramel corn. And of course I did clean up this bowl a little bit. I got, do admit that I got to do a better job cleaning this up. I'm thinking I'm actually buying a drill where I actually um, clean it off uh, with, a, with a wire brush. Um, just because I had to figure out how to save and then buy that up this year as well. So that's going to happen. So then I'm going to uh, add the oil. Now, a lot of people ask me, uh, how do I, how much oil do I add? I mean, you know, I do it to a certain line with various flavors. For example, with, with uh, kettle corn, you can add a little bit less. And I, with caramel corn, I've actually figured out that if I add a little bit more, it makes it easier for me to stir. And I also add more sugar. So if I'm adding more sugar, then um, I can use a little bit more oil. And it actually comes out a little bit more flavorful and it stays a little bit better. I've actually almost wondered myself with the caramel corn, if I add clarified butter or if I add a butter topping oil in the actual pot um, if it would burn or if it would actually come out better tasting as well um, I like the, the you know the thing that I like about the other caramel corns is that I like the uh, buttered oil um, with the caramel corn taste as well and that's what I'm not getting from the glaze pop so uh, it's an ever-changing uh, evolutionary process so here once the oil heats up I use a test heat to know when I throw it in of course, not everybody does this, but this is how I do it. Boom. Throw it in. And this is my buddy Ned here, my buddy Ned Gonzalez. I'll show you the contact video information from the beginning and the end. If you like this video, please follow me and subscribe on YouTube. And I'm also on Facebook. If you like my videos, you can also donate to me on Kofi.com. And I'll always, you know, gladly take your $5. Um, and this is good. Again, it's going to help me go back to school and learn more graphic design and stuff. But the video quality is superior in this camera um, than the, my other one. And I'm really happy about this. So here we go. I'm adding the sugar now. And as long as you keep stirring, you know, it's, it's going to come out fine. Uh, some people also turn down the heat. The other thing that I think people do is um, they, uh, you know, probably add more sugar or less. I've actually found that, you know, if you add the right amount, I used to think that adding more was going to come out better. It actually didn't do at all. It just comes out clumpy to me. So... I know people actually make their own caramel corn, but for right now, until I get a caramelizer, uh, I use a glaze pop. So for right now, this is pretty much what I do. And I like the wooden paddle look. Um, the smell brings in a lot of people, especially with the humidity here in California, and that's not in California versus Maryland. The humidity really sucks here. And I back everything up right away. And even if I back everything up right away, you're gonna taste the difference in the quality on a really humid day. So here we go, I keep it up stirring. As long as I keep stirring, the way that the, the, the caramel corn will look really good is when it heats up into a foam-like state. And I wonder if that's the molasses or not. If I'm wrong on that, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's when I know it's going to come out nice is when that foam foams up. And I'm showing that to my graphic designer right now. And there it goes, bubbling up nicely. And by this time, as people are watching by, like, what is going on? Here's my sifter. I also got to get some, my, my food oven cleaner. And I use oven cleaner for the size here. I don't use oven cleaner for the actual kettle. Um, it's very toxic. Uh, and I make sure I keep everything down. Uh, the sifter is pretty clean for the most part. And then um, everything is so far passed so far by the health inspector. And then there we go. It's popping up, popping up, popping up. And then before here, for the last time of how I know it's ready, is by uh, the last few minutes, I turn it off. I turn the heat off and then let it cool off a little bit. And if I still hear food pops, then boom, I dump it. And how I can tell actually the caramel corn is ready is that I sift through it. And if I sift through it and then each little piece separates, that's when I know the caramel corn is ready to serve. It takes usually about, from the actual dumping, about two minutes before the caramel corn is ready to serve. Anyways, this is Shmi's Kettle Corn. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good 2023 season. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, go, let's go pop it, everybody. And thanks for following me, you know, Kettle Corn uh, enthusiasts out there.